What's up guys, my name is Matt and today I'm going to be going into an in-depth review on the Common Projects Track Sneaker. Let's get into the review. Now kind of throwing it back my intro a little bit to some of my first videos on YouTube, but today we're going to be talking about one of the Common Projects shoes that really caught my eye for multiple reasons beyond even just the shoe itself. So without saying too, too much more, let's just get straight into it. The Balenciaga, not Balenciaga, <laughs> this isn't Balenciaga at all. The Common Projects Track Sneaker is in my opinion probably one of the shoes from common projects that kind of goes under the radar a lot i mean it is basically their take on some like the new balances sarconis like that style of sneaker and honestly that's pretty much why you would buy it in the first place is you would want a more elevated version of that this is your man if you want something like that honestly now jumping into the sneaker itself the sneaker for the upper features an all leather upper there are some minor detailings to it that really do make a difference in like an achilles than a basketball sneaker from them namely with this leather quality of this this one is definitely softer leather now i don't know exactly what type of leather quality they're using for this shoe versus the achilles but my Achilles I have back there, and this one are different leather. That one's a little bit more shinier, more smooth. This one is a little bit rougher, but in a good way, and not as shiny, not as deep of a black. Like looking at these both side by side, these are both common projects, both size 45s, and you can kind of see that in general, this one is just a little bit shinier than this one, even with the light hitting it. But with that out of the way, some of the other differences between this and other kind of common project shoes I've seen is that it does feature more of this rope lacing rather than some flat lacing that you would see on like your Common Projects Achilles. And there are some different types of stitching and leather detailing. Like on the back of the shoe here, there's a few different like side panels. And I guess one of the minor details with this is it doesn't feature any detailing on the toe box right here. It just has some leather paneling that goes all the way around the entirety of the shoe. And moving in to the other side of the shoe, the other detail that you'll see on pretty much every single Common Projects, this is their branding is right here you have your gold numbers pretty much a big reason why you pay for a common project in the first place is for that slight subtle flex so you will have a total of 10 numbers here so you'll have four numbers which the first four will be your style next two will be your size and then the last four are going to be the color and just to prove a point with this you can kind of see that both the achilles and this track runner both have slightly different numbering systems but the only number that you'll see the same is going to be that 45 right here. Those two are my size. Go with your size. And going in to the midsole of this shoe, which is really what separates this as well from some of the other common projects you'll see. This is a little bit chunkier of the sole. I would say it goes perfectly with like that dad vibe chunky shoe craze. It's not going to be too, too thick of a shoe. But it's like a good medium between a slim silhouette and like a thick silhouette in my opinion. This one isn't as versatile as an Achilles to where you can really dress it up or down and it really goes with everything. This one is going to be a little bit trendier of a shoe. I don't think you're just going to be able to slap these on with a suit. I definitely think that this is a little bit more casual. But hey, if you own this, you can wear it however you want. No one's going to hold you back on that one. Going back to the midsole of the shoe, this one actually did come pre-distressed. And I love that. It's like one of the little things that I really liked about my represent shoes was that they came pre-distressed. And it's just such a subtle thing, but it makes me worry less about kind of getting my shoes dirty. It's like such a weird thing, because for me, if they come clean, I really want to keep them that way. But if they come dirty like this, where the midsole looks like it has a bunch of dirt on it already, but it's very tasteful. I don't know, like something of like that to me, like that's what I like. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on that, but for me, that's really what keeps me into this shoe is like those small details like that. And the distressing goes all the way through to where the stitching is, where stitching only goes around kind of like, I would say probably like the ball of your foot to the other side where your pinky toe is, kind of just stays there. It doesn't go all the way towards the forefront, although there is some stitching on the forefront of the shoe. And this is a Margum sole, so I would say go with your Margum size. For me, it's a 45. I'm normally a 46 in pretty much every other shoe that I have back here. Fall says to go try this on in store. You can buy it for yourself. Now going from the midsole of the shoe to the inside of the shoe, you're gonna see that it says Common Projects Made in Italy with gold lettering on a leather insole. Mine in this pair is black. I don't know if it varies from different colors. And one of the nice things about the shoe, and it does differ from the Keeleys, is this kind of like sock liner. It's all this like microfiber-y mesh material. 
and oh my god this shit is like ugh, it it's so soft i had to use the word shit there because that's the only way to put it like you can own different types of stuff and you could probably say i'm over exaggerating but it really feels luxurious like explain it this way a jordan 1 has that microfiber ish insole you know not, maybe not microfiber is not the correct term but kind of that mesh -y feeling and it's a little bit rough it's not super smooth it's a little bit thick versus this it's almost like silk in a way where it just feels super smooth it feels so comfy when you put your foot into it i don't really know how to explain it besides go to your store and feel it yourself it's not like it is on the achilles where the achilles is kind of like a suede hit kind of all the way around this one is just a suede hit in the back heels to prevent any heel slippage this one is just like that to prevent heel slippage Plus that microfiber just goes all the way around the inside of the shoe. It, it honestly is something you just need to feel to believe yourself. I love it. But are these shoes worth around 500 bucks? I would say no. Kind of like with my original Common Projects review that I did on the Achilles. I definitely think that there's something that you can buy for half off and I definitely did in this case as well. I picked these up for below $200 from Nordstrom Rack. I forget the exact amount that I did pay for them, but honestly, if you can find these for that price and if you go to the rack you can definitely find shoes like this you can find other stuff like that i'll have to make a vlog about that in a different video but overall if you really like the silhouette you really like common projects you really care more about the quality than quantity of shoes and you just want something that's slightly different than everybody else is a slight flex in a way because of the branding on it and if you can find it for a great price i'd say to jump all over this shoe it's something that you will not see many other people talking about and I think we'll get people talking about the shoe that you're wearing. This shoe is something so different yet so common at the same time that I really think makes it extremely unique. But let me know what you guys think of the Common Projects Track Runner sneaker in the comments below. And if you're new here and you liked what you saw today, I would subscribe down below. Really helps out a small YouTube channel like myself. And if you liked what you saw here today as well, please leave a like. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm and suggesting my videos to more people. Again, thank you guys for stopping by. I really appreciate you guys. Let's have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.